you're gonna need a bigger pouch. Hey guys, hope you are going well. So I recently uploaded a video called What I am currently watching or like 2017 TV shows and I asked you guys to recommend me what show I should start watching next and you overwhelmingly said the crime drama series Ozark. So that is what I did. I went and watched it because I listen to you guys. This is another Netflix original TV series. I hadn't even heard about it before. You guys brought it to my attention. 10 episodes in total with each episode sitting around the one hour mark. I was totally hooked on this series and I powered through it in probably like two weeks. I still think The Handmaid's Tale is my favorite new discovered series of the year, but Ozark is definitely sitting right up there, giving it a run for its money. So Marty Bird is a financial advisor based in Chicago. Don't worry as well, only minor spoilers here. So if you've seen the trailer, don't worry, your spoiler safe. All I will say is that he's in some shady business going on behind the scenes of his company. He is not as clean cut suburban middle class as his exterior would suggest. He is actually laundering money for the Mexican drug cartel. He is a numbers guy and he is good at it. A lot of people are likening this show to Breaking Bad and I can definitely see those Breaking Bad vibes, especially with the character cartel links going on. And there's a bit of Bloodline, the show Bloodline, if you look at the family dynamics and the small remote village setting. But whatever you do, don't fall into the trap of comparing Ozark to the five season run of Breaking Bad. Just, just stay away from that trap, don't do that. Ozark is super watchable and Jason Bateman is the number one sell behind this series, but yeah, don't compare it to Breaking Bad. <laughs> okay, I've said it. With Ozark, you have this average Joe kind of guy. His wife thinks he's boring, his kids think he's boring, but really there's a lot more going on simmering away beneath the surface and the more he gets pushed, the more it keeps flaring up. This guy is a big talker. He can talk his way into anything and out of anything, but does he really have what it takes to back it up? This character is really super intriguing. And as you get to know more about him and his very, very complex relationship with his wife, Wendy, played by Laura Linney, it delves really deep and their partnership is so much more complex than what the first few episodes let on. Jason Bateman as Marty Bird is freaking great. I love him in darker roles. I know he came to notoriety with his comedic roles like Michael Bluth in Arrested Development, which by the way, they're teasing a fifth season if you hadn't heard. But more recently, Bateman's been taking on these gritty roles. In 2015, he did The Gift, which was written and directed by Joel Edgerton, and he was such a dick in that movie, it was great. Ozark's central plot stays pretty hard on the money, no pun intended. It doesn't stray too far at all from the central through line of dealing with Marty's money laundering problems, which I like, there are side characters, but what they do is really integral to the story. Can I just say my favorite side character was definitely the no nonsense, no bullshit Ruth. It's great to see more curly girls represented on screen. Thank you. This was a really cool show. It did feel like something very familiar plot wise, but it was the power performances and setting, which gave it a spin that I really appreciated. Guys, they are my thoughts on the Netflix series Ozark. Definitely one to check out, especially if you are into crime, thriller, mystery, drama type things. Do check this one out. That is all from me guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget you can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and keep up to date with my other movie and TV reviews. That is it from me and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <sighs> what am I going to watch next?